Good morning, unless it's not. Welcome to No Shave November. That's right, I'm starting my very own not annual, not holiday. I was sitting there when all of a sudden I realized I should make up some bullshit. For the very first time in human history, I'm going to make up something in July that has nothing to do with shaving. It's never been done before. I'm being pretty ambitious, and that's why I had to make this video, so that I could brag, I mean explain. See, all month long, I'm going to bring you not five, not seventeen, but two whole videos every single day, asterisk. Now before you get your hopes up, no, they're not going to be ten plus minute long videos. Are you crazy? Yes. Starting tomorrow, I want to upload a video in the morning and a video in the afternoon every single day, except for Tuesdays, each one being about... 30 to 60 seconds long. No, they will not be shorts because I'm kind of tall, and they may not be under 60 seconds either. Obviously, videos that short wouldn't really fit my usual content, so what will they be instead? Rather than explain it to you, I've bundled the first two into this very video, so get ready because I don't have a fancy transition. Good morning! Unless it's not. Let's talk about Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a game I've been afraid to tackle for a while, mostly because it's so huge I wasn't quite sure what to talk about. I've had many different ideas, and I may still do some of them later, but the window of relevancy is already gone, and I figured I should at least say something. But not something of value. There are so many great things in Elden Ring, it's really hard for me to narrow this down. I'm sure a lot of people might not agree with me. From Software has made games overly difficult, and they definitely aren't easily approachable. But for those of you who do, I'm sure many things, like the cheesiness of Horfrost Stomp and the majesty of Alexander Warrior Jar, rank pretty highly in the list. And of course, don't forget the giant finger. Kinda hard to when I dream about it every night. But for me, I don't think the small details like that can really capture the greatness of such a large game as this. No, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about the massive amount of variety there is in this game. There is so much to explore, so many enemies to fight and different settings to fight them in. Even repeat bosses sometimes have small differences that make them frustratingly difficult. But even better than that is the giant arsenal of different weapons, armor, and abilities to customize your characters. True Dark Souls players know these games are all about the fashion, and it's so easy to look cool with what's made available in this game. Unfortunately, the absolute coolest looking thing is breathing giant dragon breath over your enemies, so most of my characters pick up those spells. But the fact that I've made multiple characters and picked up those spells in different builds should tell you how much I enjoy it. Or how bad I am, since I have have to abuse the dragon spells. And that was the best part of my day, but today is special, so let's also talk about the worst part of my day. I spent weeks thinking about this particular episode and trying to figure out what was good and bad about Elden Ring, and it was so difficult. And then, when I realized I was combining the best and worst into one for this game, it hit me. The best part of Elden Ring is the worst part of Elden Ring. There's so much in this game, no two people are going to have the same experiences. Bosses, weapons, armor, because there's so many, a lot of them had to be scattered throughout random areas. And this map is huge. Finding one specific item for a build without a guide is impossible. And don't even get me started on using them. Compared to Dark Souls, this game is bigger and, from what I feel, expects you to be higher level by the end. Which means weapons can have higher stat requirements. Which means you can't just randomly play around with everything you pick up. So many items require specific builds that it feels really limiting. I may be able to redo my stats pretty easily, but doing all of that just to try a weapon that may not be good is a hassle. Which means I tend to do what I always do, and pick a stat, and stick with it. It certainly doesn't ruin the game, but it is absolutely a weak spot and an otherwise amazing experience. And that was the best and worst part of my day. I'm out. I'm in. I hope that explained it, because that's all you get. Normally, that would be split up into two videos. In the morning, I'll talk about the best or worst part of a video game, and then in that afternoon, I'll talk about the opposite. If you want to, try guessing in the comments what my best or worst thing about the game is going to be once you've seen the morning episode. Or just complain about what I like and don't like. Seeing as it's only July 1st, I may have a few of these made, and I may have a few of these planned on the horizon, but I definitely don't have a full month worth of video games. So if you have something you'd like to see, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I may be really good at complaining about video games, but if you suggest one, I'll try my hardest to like something about it, okay? Lastly, I mentioned that I won't be doing these on Tuesday. That's because I'd kind of like to still upload my usual Stash Brown videos. It might not happen because this is a lot of work to do all at the same time, but fingers crossed. 
with all that out of the way, it's time to not no shave for not November. So get those razors out and then throw them in the trash and then maybe pick them back up because it's time for not shave November. I'm calling it best and worst. Mm-hmm.